On pay-per-view, Dana Brooke is in action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke, certainly one of the hardest workers in the women's division, always trying to learn new skills and techniques to better her game. There's no doubt she has beauty, there's no doubt she has power, but she also has brains. Did you guys know that Dana Brooke has never lost a match on the same day that Byron Saxton had a date? Really? That's right. Amazing Byron, stats. when was your last date? None of your business. Exactly. Worldwide. And from live in Florida, weighing in at 270 pounds, Titus O'Neill. You know, Titus O'Neill is not only an incredible athlete, but he learns from his mistakes. Notice Titus walks to the ring these days. He learned his lesson at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Yeah, when he tripped and slid <laughs> head first under the ring. Great athlete, though, fired up here tonight on the grand stage. Welcome to the Queendom. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, the WWE Women's Champion, Stephanie Mayer. I'm so glad that Stephanie McMahon has the opportunity to redeem herself, to right the wrong from that anomaly that was the loss to Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. Anomaly? Anomaly? Stephanie McMahon got embarrassed. If you remember, Corey? Don't forget, she signed your paychecks. Good point. Good point. Some would say that perhaps her attitude leaves a little bit to be desired. Well, then some, the some better find their way to the unemployment line. Well, uh, not me, I'm just saying. It wouldn't be pay-per-view without the game. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the This is Triple H's world. The spotlight is his home. A Grand Slam champion, one of the all-time greats. Yeah, former European champion, former Intercontinental champion, tag team champion, and WWE champion. Triple H is right where he belongs in the spotlight with the eyes of the WWE Universe fixated squarely on his chiseled physique. Broke into the main event scene with the likes of The Rock, McFoley, Big Show, all at WrestleMania 2000. And has never looked back since.
The man has main evented seven WrestleManias and continues to grow his legend in WWE. From the midnight workouts to the endless dieting, Triple H prides himself on always being ready. I just hope Triple H's opponent tonight is as mentally tough as they think they are because the Cerebral Assassin is at the top of the game on pay-per-view. And we're underway with mixed tag team action. And guys, for me, there's no greater mixed tag team match than the one we saw at WrestleMania 6. Truly historic. Uh oh. Oh, what a close line. Dana's feeling good, and the crowd is eating it up. Bam, suplex. The numbers are in Dana's favor. Her offense is on point right now. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Forearm to the oh, face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Chip kick. Ooh. In off the tag. Oh, no. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And oh! What's he going to do with it? Lands face first. One of the reasons Triple H is so dangerous is that he's so smart. Over the course of a career almost unequaled, Triple H has gone by many names. Uh, the Connecticut Blue Blood, the Cerebral Assassin, and the King of Kings, to name a few. What a night it's been here at SummerSlam, and things only continue to get hotter. Delivering the suplex. In the corner now. Shoulder right to the midsection. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Sharp clothesline. Triple H with some reason to worry here. Look out here. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? I earlier mentioned all the names that Triple H has gone by, but now he's simply known as the game because he dominates this game like Noah. Look out! And what a reversal by Stephanie McMahon. Set up for the oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Nothing fancy about that. Dana Brooke going for the early pin. Oh, Stephanie oh. Man gets the shoulder up. Tried for it early. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Oh, back elbow.
I don't have you walking funny. Dana Brooke is setting a very good pace. She's executing on her plan perfectly. Titus O'Neil first turned heads as a rookie in the second season of NXT. And it didn't take long for WWE superstars to realize why Titus is known as the real deal. Titus O'Neil looking uneasy now. Uh-oh. Oh, it dropped in the cross face. Battling to get the upper hand. Whoa, he, he works his way out. Club is line. And that's the tag that Dana Brooke. Point. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Corey, you brought up Titus O'Neil's introduction to WWE. When Titus joined forces with Darren Young, they were known as the prime time players. In addition to being worth millions of dollars, they became WWE Tag Team Champions. The prime time players were a top team in WWE, but Titus reached a point where he wanted to focus on himself to build his own following. And that's when Titus created the Titus brand. Will he be victorious? And Titus O'Neil powers out. Gonna take a whole lot more. He's in control. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Attack to the midsection. And this mix tags over. What a win. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. SummerSlam. What an incredible effort all around.